All right, hello everybody. My name is Todd and welcome to Honeysuckle Farms. Friday morning. Um, why are we here Friday morning? Well, we got a call from the county, and they were they said they were going to come out and start working on digging out our upper pond and fixing the the creek or the trench, uh, if you want to call it, that goes down into the our, our upper pond. So I was able to talk to the county, and <clears throat> they said they would come out and assist us in getting that dug back out and and get our pipe set back in there so that we, we don't have this problem where this uh, water that comes at, underneath the road goes straight down into our bottom pasture and floods the bottom pasture. And uh, because of the Hurricane Idalia, uh, our pasture, bottom of our pasture is now flooded. And it's had water in it from the road issue, but this is actually the river. The Satilla River has come up um, to the bottom of the property. And because it's so low, it doesn't have any place to go. This is a problem that we're, you know, we're trying to fix. Not only are you trying to build a log cabin, build a farm, work a full-time job, trying to figure out this water situation, how we're going to make it work with the small equipment that I have, and which is not working. We just got to get some time and get out there and uh, get her done. So, uh, but um, as usual, Mother Nature lately has been kind of raining on our parade hopefully this rain blows over in the next 30 minutes and they can show on up and mosey on down to the pond and start digging it out hadn't been doing a lot of video i've been trying to um get things fixed up from the storm uh as you can see our uh ultimate chicken tracker made it through a hurricane uh, we probably had about 70 80 mile an hour winds here at one time or gusts at least um and uh, everything held up. Of course, we know the carriage house is gonna, gonna be fine. Uh, we've got our uh, AC guys on the way here today. The plumbers are supposed to show up. I don't know about if the plumber's gonna still make it. I don't know about plumbers. Hope you're having a good Friday. Um, hope you have a great weekend. Uh, we've got some things to do and we're gonna get at it. Well, just as promised, the county showed up around 1030 instead of 8 o'clock. But while they were working on digging out the trench in the upper pond, we went up to the garden where I had some important things I wanted to do. It's Saturday afternoon. Um, I've had a long day so far. We spent the morning getting feed and we picked up the pigs from the processor. But uh, now we're up in the garden and uh, we're doing something that I have thought about for a long time in my life. Back when I was young, very young, seven, eight, nine years old, I knew a man that um, on a, our lake we used to live on, his name was Mr. Kabricki. He was retired and I just always loved his garden. And the secret to his fertilizing his garden and taking care of and having such a good garden was he used fish heads and fish guts. He ground them up in a meat grinder and put them in his garden. And he had the best plants you had ever seen. Tomatoes as big as softballs. I mean, just corn, everything. And I was always just so amazed by that. Everything we plant in the uh, the greenhouse is all organic. In uh, the hydroponics, we use fish emulsion, fertilizer, and, and kelp, uh, plant food. And that's what we got in our water, our reservoir now. And then of course we got the aquaponics and it's its own system in itself. And then our raised beds, which are dead here now after the losing power and the heat we have, but uh, we're fixing to tear all these plants out. All this is all organic soil. So everything in the greenhouse is organic and I wanted to get into organic on the outside beds, but I just really didn't have the option that I wanted. And I uh, had an idea 
and saw a YouTube channel where a guy, he takes a greenie or a menhaden or a pogey, whatever you want to call them, and he puts them in the hole below the plant along with a little bit of lime and that's his fertilizer that he uses and to me i just was i just couldn't wait to do it so i uh, went on facebook marketplace and found um some uh, menhaden for sale guy had a few bags of them he sold them to me cheap and uh that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to be planting this raised bed and our collared bed and in every hole we're going to be putting fish and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing how it goes I'd like to keep everything organic and this way once we get our pond going uh, we can just do the same you know use the same kind of situation instead of using uh, bought bait we can use our own bait and our own fish so uh, yeah we're getting started we've got some plants probably a little too early <laughs> but uh, I just love planting so that's what we're gonna do or, uh, we're gonna get at it and start planting this raised bed All right, well, we finished up the day working in the garden. That's a good day by anybody, anybody's standards as far as I'm concerned. We got the uh, right raised bed here planted. We used our fish and our lime as our fertilizer. Gave them a good watering down. Uh, the automatic watering system comes on at 7.15, so they got about 30, 40 minutes before they come on. Yeah, it's about 6.30 right now. And we also did the collards. So we got two beds done today. We're going to work on probably stripping that bed tomorrow. We're going to pull some peppers. We got some more peppers in our pepper bed. We're going to pull tomorrow. So we're going to spend a little, little time tomorrow gardening, but we're going to spend most of the day uh, working on the carriage house. Matt's coming up. So hope everybody's having a good Saturday. We're fixing to go get cleaned up and uh, make some dinner and enjoy the evening. It's Sunday morning, which is uh, normally carriage house day, and we're working up in the carriage house. Um, we're almost done with the framing. Uh, Matt's here. We're going around and putting in just uh, furring strips above the windows where they lay it for our layout on our sheetrock. And uh, we got to fix this last opening. And we're going to basically get this uh, doorway framed in and uh finish up the uh furring around the door which will finish up all the furring for the second floor and uh that's going to be probably it for today um my daughter's coming up today i think we're going to do some work in the garden and i think we're going to switch over to some mechanic work at that time we got to fix the alternator on the big tractor and uh see about working on that backhoe i kind of just threw my hands up in the air with that thing and i've been just working around it but um if you look at earlier in the video we've got the county to come out and they were able to come out and dig out a uh open the trench that goes down to the upper pond and then they dug out the upper pond now they did they didn't do everything i wanted but they did a great job with what they did i'm very thankful for that uh so we're going to get the backhoe working we've got a couple of large piles of dirt we're going to build up around the edges of the pond so it can hold more water and act as a sort of retention area 
Uh, we redid the pipes over there so that uh, once it gets high enough, it's going to drain off into the swamp, not into the field. So step one of getting this uh, pasture taken care of done. We're going to get on it. Um, uh, you know, now that we've got the upper section done and it can hold some water and not go straight on down to the bottom pasture, hopefully we'll get some dry weather. We can dig out the beaver dams again and start draining the water off the pasture. And that way we can get a better job and try to get the tractor down in there and get that dug out. So it's a process. Um, and, but the first part's done and, uh, I'm happy with that. I want to thank the County again for that. So we're going to show some video of that a little bit later. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, time to get to work on the carriage house. We're going to get at it. All right. So it's the end of the weekend. And we're getting ready to pack up and head home. We were able to get all the fur in done in the carriage house. I think we got one more piece to go right up over that door. Other than that, we got the, the buck in for the door. We're going to get the door soon. But pretty much that's it folks it's all done all right so and my daughter Tegan came up today and she helped me in the garden we were able to get some things done in the garden and uh did some planting in the pasture we did some overseeding and fed the animals so it's been a great weekend i hope everybody had a fantastic weekend and i hope you had a fantastic week we're going to pack it up and get it out of here but before we do remember what we always say don't ever ever give up on your dreams my name's todd this is Honeysuckle Farms. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.